what if i tell you that this true life story of a child can bring an upward swing in your life i think your perspective can definitely change from today because this boy was not an ordinary boy parth my own son yes p a r d b t h parth was born with a disorder called thalassemia a genetic blood disorder for those who don't know when both mother and father carry a minor trait of this thalassemia gene the chances of having a thalassemia major child are 25 to 50% thalassemia is a common and fatal disorder however when asked about it only a few people know this is what disturbed path this lack of awareness a thalassemia warrior suffers all throughout their short life with pain pricks to find a vein as the patient has to undergo repeated blood transfusions to survive because their own body cannot produce or generate red blood cells on its own like a normal human being like you or me so for blood transfusions they have to depend on donors and on the labs for its supply and testing believe me i have seen this up close that means a life dependent on others plus daily chelation medicines to take out the excess iron overload created because of that infusion of constant red blood cells but as i said his story is full of grit and determination to defy all odds as path believed in the dictum that live each day to the fullest and don't let anything or anyone stop you because he knew that thalassemia have thalassemics have half life only that is on an average 26 to 28 years that means aadhi wali zindagi a phrase which he very often used of late at the places where he used to convey about this disorder aadhi wali zindagi here to understand the difference that most diseases are curable treatable or manageable but thalassemia no cure except bone marrow transplant which too has very remote possibilities because of so many ifs and buts involved in finding a donor or pre and post complications i am a living proof a testimony to witness all that has happened path was alone once in 2015 when suddenly his most beloved dog a german shepherd collapsed in his own hands and he just couldn't do anything he was 19 imagine a boy of 19 saw death from such close quarters and realized how a body becomes of no value when the life goes out of it in a jiffy that moved him to the hilt on that day a metamorphosis happened a new path was born this death reminded him that very soon he is also going to go like this so why not spread happiness till he is here and since he believed in himself and picked up an agenda with persistence and with a devotion like determination he created an ngo called the wishing factory to spread happiness and fulfill wishes of his fellow thalassemia warriors he started with fulfilling their tiny wishes just to see their wishes getting fulfilled and these kids smile 
and even for a brief moment forgetting about their pain their problems the trauma made every effort worth it gradually started getting them free medication medicines with the help of generous donors then finally getting state of the art interactive day care transfusion centers blood transfusion centers with funding from corporates then coming to establishing pump libraries a unique concept in various parts of the country to take out that excess iron overload from the body he proved to be a true representative of his name path which originates from path that in doing good to the society neither your age matters nor your physical capacity what matters is your will to do create a benchmark for superior things and then move forward the vision factory is ngo breeds with only one mission to eradicate thalassemia completely from this country from india and make a thalassemia mukt bharat and spreading massive awareness testing campaigns making thalassemia test mandatory with the help of government and the gynecologist societies through their intervention he has found that this can definitely happen and i was observing him grow from achieving one milestone after another seeing his humility all doors to him opened one after another as he used to walk towards them after his due struggles of course to get what he exactly wanted he was there in newspapers media public platforms clubs conferences colleges universities ted talks regarding and requesting celebrities to help him in his drive to create awareness which can really impact every nook and corner of the country about this thalassemia as a disorder and he knew it that this is a deadly disorder and can be prevented so by performing these things and he was equally performing in his graduation college first he was made class representative then in final year with his cgpa he was made general secretary of his college committee he was an apple of eye of the whole college and he not only respected his professors but he treated very well his office staff lab staff and tea vendors or the uh, places where he used to go and drink juice or uh, his favorite drinks with grace and love nothing could shift his eye from his goal in mind that no child should be shall born shall be born with thalassemia again and those who are get a fair chance to enjoy a full support in their medicine in their treatment and equally become self sufficient through his education and other development that he used to boost them up by instilling a belief in them that we may have a bad patch of life or a rough part to pass to cross but we are not going to be here always and he used to say that we will come out of this by pushing harder he suggested that we should find joys in little things of life to boost up to push harder to thrive this was a proof of the commitment he had for whatever he did he wanted to see smiles because smiles make us stronger so what if thalassemic kids have protruding teeth less height suppressed nose or abnormal skin color a darker tone as compared to normal kids path believe in higher thinking and in loving what you do and doing what you love 
friends he reinvented himself after that one incident but you don't have to wait for some incident to happen just to prove yourself as you are already blessed in so many ways he kept reinventing himself his persistence brought clarity in his thoughts and with perseverance in such a short span of 5 years his ideas resonated across the world yes the idea that since it's a preventable disorder concerned agencies have to make it mandatory to get this thalassemia test before any family planning is now done resonating in the circles of policy makers and those who matter and actually have a key to unlock this problem or this challenge and he always said we cannot avoid the ups and downs of or the obstacles that come our way but we can change the way we look at them and that is why i always say that i am proud to be father of parth thakur in fact waiting for that day impatiently when we can get that enactment done which makes this thalassemia test mandatory and with such massive awareness drive and when someone can ask me who is your idol this reminds me actually that ms dhoni was parth's idol and he was fond of him because of the composer because of the way he used to pursue get the things done and then move forward in a most ordinary way he did the same and i can proudly say at that time that it is parth thakur he is my idol as he pushed me to the limits and taught me that in life take risks as if you never fail or get stuck or face resistance you are simply playing it too safe and he opened my eyes to the fact that the leaders are those who do not conform they reform if you conform you are nurturing mediocrity if you reform you are breeding change and believe me before going on my these shoulders he said papa lie down karo na his last words which resonate all the time in my years and very recently i have figured out that as a son before going he guided me to switch on the light of awareness this light actually also means fire that he created within me to achieve his goals which even death could not snatch from him as he could pass on the torch to me in legacy before he actually went so come join in the movement of making a thalassemia mukt bharat by spreading awareness in your own family and friends and become a star a hero not only in your own eyes but in the world at large also when his body which couldn't make blood like us that still didn't stop him from setting goals having a vision and achieving what he wanted so what is stopping you